files can be imported into Zara. PDF files are vector format files, so they can be any size. They're very useful for creating various effects and uh, design elements in Zara. Now I'm just going to go to File, Import, and I'm going to select PDF Design. Now you can find many PDF documents available on the web, as well as obviously you can create your own. So I'm just going to import that one. This one's from graphicextras.com. It's a swirl design. Import, insert. Once you've imported the design, you can now apply various effects. You can do go to the shadow tool, just apply a shadow, wish. Also, you can apply 3D effects via the extrude. So I'm just going to apply a quick extrude. Change that. Also, you can change the angle design, you can rotate it, change the lighting, other effects, change the so change the bevel types. Anyway, I'm just going to delete that. I'm just going to import another design. Import. Just select that one. Import. Once imported, again, let's say you can select the design and then you can apply, say, like a bevel tool as well. So just quickly drag out and create a bevel for that. I'm going to import another design and this time I'm going to import one of the colored designs so I'll just quickly show you, you can have color as well so import insert and you can actually modify the individual elements so I'm just going to select all and again you can apply the same shadow effects as well as three-dimensional effects and there's also other options such as the contour tool blend tool mold tool and others